Hello everyone, it's me once again. So finally, I have the um, Google Pixel Buds 2 in front of me after two months of all those well-known YouTubers have reviewed it. So I'm sure you know what this is all about, um, but I just wanna make this video slightly different to the original conventional video reviews that you, you saw from YouTube by comparing it with the Bang & Olufsen E8, the first generation that I had for more than two years. Now, the biggest downfall of having Bang & Olufsen E8 as your either your Android or your iOS uh, Ear, ear buzz is that the every time when you open up and trying to connect it Bluetooth connection is such a pain you have to actually go to the Bluetooth settings and while while the time you're actually walking out of your home or somewhere that you were stationed on and you want to listen to your music outside it you have to actually stop and going through the Bluetooth setting and etc while as the um, Pixel Buds 2 I actually tried on my wife's um, iOS, um, Apple 11 and also, well, especially on my Google phone, it was really impressive. All you need to do, even in the initial setup, was the fact that you just need to open up the lid, like that. And then um, Google Pixel phone will immediately notice it saying, do you want to proceed with the pop-up? So you just press yes, 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 and it's all set up and it's all good to go. Now the sound quality, um, I don't think it's fair to compare these two um, in, but because Bang & Olufsen E8, the reason I consider it still to be the best, is it has this great strength of equalization. So you could actually adjust the sound of your bass, and also the sharpness of the sound. While as I was very surprised, I was normally expecting a company like Pixel, um, Google Pixel would have the equalization sort of function for the Pixel Buds, but it still doesn't have it. So I can't really adjust that sound. So the overall sound, I mean, this is really good. Don't get me wrong, for the price of $179.99, this Bang & Olufsen was just under 300 US dollars, by the way, but it's it's really good it's really sharp it's pretty much in your face but still i felt that this overall harmony of this professional sound wasn't as good as the bang and olufsen e8 i think mainly uh, probably could be my uh, wrong judgment on it but um i wish if we could have this equalization uh set up with for, with the um, pixel bars it would be a more fair game shouldn't we say but um i still think uh bang olufsen e8 won in that case surprisingly the um pixel buds 2 comes with bluetooth 4.0 normally if you actually buy a, any earbuds um it's it's comes with a standard of 5.0 i couldn't understand i was a bit shocked when i saw when i saw this bluetooth 4.0 plus well, it doesn't seem to make that much difference anyway, but Bang & Olufsen um, E8 is a 5.1. So I've done a quick um, latency test on it, and I'm sure I, I could actually show you that there's this lip uh, synchronization is not as good as the BioPlay E8. So check out the video clip. I'm here today to provide an update on my administration's all-out campaign to destroy MS-13 A5. People knew what they were doing, so we'll be talking about that next week and probably have an announcement as to what we're planning to do to help them they're supposed to be asking for now one of the things i was really impressed um, out of two or three is the um it has the sensor on the bottom of the of the ear buzz and also on the um side where it actually touches your ear as well so in other words when you actually take out the ear bud, um, one of them um, while you're listening to music or watching video the whole video or sound device of, of your phone will stop. And then when you actually put it back into your ear, the sound or the video will resume again, like YouTube or any sound uh, sounding app. And I was really impressed by that. It shows how clever this device is. So one of the biggest thing I was looking forward to is interacting with Google AI. Obviously now you got the Google uh, Pixel Buds 2 that you just need to plug into your ear. So you can literally just don't need to take out your phone. You could talk um, as if Google AI is right in front of you. So it almost feels like as if some part of Pixel phone has been taken out and is actually inserted into your body. Um, so 
you can actually constantly have a conversation with some of the most well-structured, well-put-in uh, uh, AI information system. Within that AI function, there's a thing called the spoken notification. I'm really looking forward to use this for a very long term. That's when someone sends you a text message or you were to get any email notification and etc. Uh, Pixel Buds, if you actually, as long as you put it on your ear, will read that out to you, which is really good because all you need to do is just put your phone in your pocket and just put on your Pixel Buds to on your ear. Well, the phone call quality uh, regards to Bang & and E8 uh, was a huge disappointment for long use. Um, let's say if I'm walking in the middle of the road or it's especially on a windy day, um, a lot of people actually call me saying that they can't hear me properly. I know Bang & Olufsen have done a bit of an update to improve that, but still, um, when it's especially a windy day, don't use Bang & Olufsen E8 as a, a phone call, just lift up your phone. Um, I can see that the Pixel Bud to I tried it out phoning on my, my wife. So this is actually the sound coming from Pixel Buds 2 from a speaker phone. So hope you like the sound of the quality. And the phone quality seems to be really good but I unfortunately I haven't actually tried any windy day. I'll actually do some of those tests in the near future and let you know on the phone um, call quality on that side. Now the Pixel Buds 2 actually comes with adapted sound um, function. I actually enable it and while I was having conversation with my wife, I asked her to constantly talk to me while I was listening to loud music. I couldn't see any volume going down to enable me to listening to her. I don't know what it is, but I don't think the adaptive sound is quite there yet. So it's a bit of a disappointment there. There's also this very clever thing called find device for your Pixel Buds 2. Um, I tried it, um, but until the point when I actually lift it up and hear the sound right next to my ear, I couldn't really hear the sound. Maybe the volume was down but the find the um, device function wasn't that impressive at all. Now the battery life for Pixel Buds 2 is known to have up to 24 hours and a single play up to 5 hours per each um, uh, earbuds. Now um, it also on the Pixel phone it shows you how many how much battery life is left on each earbuds as well which is really nice while as Bang & Olufsen the first generation only has up to four hours of single play not that much of a difference for the actual earbuds itself but the battery itself is half of the time which is 12 hours and I actually sometimes feel less than that when I actually use it for long term now the um, sound quality overall as I again I like to consider the Bang & Olufsen E8 to be one of the best sounding earbuds available in the market still 2020. I think that's probably one of the reasons why they're keeping that design um, but only changing the cases for the different functions. Unfortunately, I can't say anything about the second or the third generation because they're pricey as well. So I want a cheaper half price but more AI technology uh, solution on it. Um, and Pixel Buds 2 have really blown my mind of how many different things you could explore with a really tiny device, um, especially on these sensors and all these AI functions that you could explore. So I hope this video helped you understand more about this Pixel Buds 2. I'm really impressed with it. Um, do all this AI technology that is available that you could explore and how they could come up with so many different clever um, technology in a tiny device is just it's a great awe to see such thing happening right in front of my eyes. Now, two downside again is the latency. I don't think Google will be able to improve that side. I know they've done a lot of magical things with the camera qualities and witchcraft technology, what you have, whatever you call it, but I can't see how they could use it when the standard connection is only 4.0 plus uh, connection. Now, the sound quality control wise, Google could always um, adjust that if they produce a really nice equalization software um, as an update then you, I'm sure the sound quality can easily beat or almost match up 
um, or even better than Bang & Olufsen E8 but at the moment it sounds a bit light unfortunately and then you can't customize it which is a big downturn but overall I'm lo really looking forward to all their updates that's going to come along there are going to be so many clever updates that they're going to send to us and we're going to explore that so I look forward to exploring that and also having a long conversation with this fantastic information source called Google AI. So thank you very much for watching this video. I hope this uh, you like this video and learn more about the Pixel Buzz. If you have any questions, please do comment below. This is LJP Tech. Have a nice weekend, a fantastic sunny weekend. All the best. Bye-bye.